Hello, my name is Agata. My email is duniazara.gmail.com and this is the pick a card reading for the month of December 2022. December 2022, you have option 1 and option 2, option 1 and option 2. Okay, and it's going to be for each option more or less a 14 uh, card reading. Okay, so while you're thinking about it, which option, you know, to choose from, I'm going to ask you nicely to subscribe, like and share my channel, you know, subscribe to my channel Dunya Azad, because God will love you more, I promise, God will love you more, you'll be luckier if you subscribe and like and share, you'll be more attractive, I promise, I promise you'll be more attractive, if you subscribe, like and share my channel, okay? And uh, 10 million dollars, euros, whatever, you know, you prefer, uh, will show up at your doorstep the minute you subscribe to my channel, like my channel, like this video and share it. I swear, I swear, I, I mean it. This is true. This mm. is the, the, this is true promise okay so if you picked option number one i'm gonna use for you the uh tarot of i think it's rider white even though it only says here a e white and this is going to be uh, a reading in seven areas of your life in december 2022 the first area and i'm going to use two cards for each area the first area is work if you happen to work you know you have the wheel of fortune Yay. And the other card is, uh, I'm going to use the Soul Cards uh, by Deborah Koff Chapin, or Chapin, I don't know how to say her name. And these can be used like Oracle Cards, more or less. So the, the next card is more like, um, more or less a clarification card, and you have this one. I always look at this, this card in the Soul Cards deck, kind of like the energy of Aquarius. Now, many different ways of reading these two cards work. So a big transformation in your work because you have the wheel of fortune, okay? Uh, it could be a new job, a new career, or you stop working, you know, because you uh, you have money to stop working or you go into retirement. Uh, it's like a big change. It could be a lucky change. It depends. Like the wheel of fortune, you never know. And this is the clarification card. So working, if you, this is a a big change in your working life, in your professional life, working with a big group of people or working in a setting that concerns the whole world. I don't know, having responsibilities connecting to the whole world. I don't know what you do. <laughs> you know, you could be a vice president of whatever company and just being watching this reading right now. Uh, so or you could uh, have, for instance, this could be your boss. You have a new boss. And this boss can be man, woman, doesn't matter, from a foreign country and very, how do you say, gregarious, uh, the, the type of per person that likes to be around many people, that um, uh, deals, that just uh, gets along with everyone. I don't know why also Aquarius, you know, he or she could be an Aquarius or you could be an Aquarius. Uh, or this is, you know, you, you go to another country to work, for instance, or you work in a large community uh, where you work or the work you, that you do is connected again with the large community that goes to the it's community, not in your city. It's, it could be when I say community, it's like a whole world type of community. I don't know. Again, I don't know what you do now in the more kind of weird sort of way of reading these two cards, like aliens, I don't know, <laughs> you're working with aliens, <laughs> I have no idea, or aliens in December 22, they show up, I don't know anymore, a at the time that you are at work, you know, or your work is connected with aliens, I don't know, is this stupid, I don't know, it's kind of like, you could, you could be, or the company that you are in, uh, you can be told, like, okay, 
in December 2022, you and your colleagues, you're going to work on something, your boss comes up to you and says, okay, you have to write, I don't know, or come up with a protocol and how to deal with aliens if they land. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe your, your companions, your work companions are like, what? What did he say? <laughs> or what did she say? Is this, does this make any type of sense? I have no idea. So it could be many things, okay? Or, like I said, you can stop working and maybe decide to... Uh, you stop working like you retired, but then you go to a different country and you can volunteer if you want, you know? So this is a way of reading these two cards. Now even I'm going to go to the family. So, family for December. You have what? You have the, the Knight of Cups with this um, uh, clarification card. And you see an egg here. To, to me, this card kind of... kind of. To me, it's an egg. It's not necessarily just an egg. It can be a lake. Which is interesting because there's like a, a body of water. Kind of tiny little, little river on the Knight of Cups uh, card. So, the Knight of Cups could be... There's a present that someone gives to you in December 2022. Well, it's the month for presents, honestly. You know, it could be during uh, Christmas. It could be literally an egg. <laughs> I don't think it is. It could be a trip, you know. Someone in your family gives you, gifts you a trip. And this could be... Hmm where you have to go through a large body of water. Now, this could be by uh, flying, could be by train, could be even by boat, I don't know. Uh, this could be a gift. So there's a gift that your family gives to you. Someone, a member of your family gifts this a trip, or you give to someone, a member of your family, could be younger, could be a young kid, could be your son, daughter, a uh, grandson, granddaughter, or maybe there's like a nephew, a niece, and all of you chip in, all many members of the family chip in to give something to them, maybe a trip, you know, because they always wanted to go and uh, visit something. Now, this could be something else. This could be let, literally in your family, there's the announcement of a birth, birth or someone is pregnant, you know, because again, it's the egg. And this present, it could be a divine present, uh, a pregnancy. And it could even be to someone older who's not actually expecting to be pregnant. Another way of reading it, you find out that uh, someone in your family has a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I'm going to go with boyfriend. And this boyfriend got someone pregnant. Got your daughter pregnant, granddaughter pregnant niece pregnant, or uh, your nephew, your son, uh, you know, grandson, got someone else pregnant, or there's someone in the family who's younger, and there's like a, a pregnancy. Now, I'm not going to say this pregnancy is unwanted. It could be unexpected, but it feels like everyone wants it, the moment it gets announced. Now, the, the, the third part, the third area of your life is connected with luck and wishes for uh, December 2022. And you have the, the hanged man, okay? And this, um, this clarification card, to me, this clarification card is one of the cards that speaks to me of an angel. To me, I see an angel protecting a child. It tells me that whatever... Your good luck comes for you not getting your wishes. You wanted something, there's a wish that you wanted, and it will not be granted to you, I'm sorry to say this, because it, maybe it would not be good for you, or it would not be good for you at this time, in December 2022, and not having your wish is a good luck. Not having your wish is your angels, your guardian angels protecting you, your guardian angel is protecting you by not grant, granting you that which you wanted. Okay? Or you have to wait. It's, 
Maybe you'll get it, but not yet. It's like a, a, a waiting thing. Okay. Now, for the fourth area of your life is friendship. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Friendship and support. You have the Five of Cups and this clarification card, which is interesting. So the Five of Cups, you might have some sort of disappointment and sadness, and sadness in what connects with friendship or even moral support or emotional support. I don't know, maybe a friend disappointed you. Maybe you were not expecting that this friend would disappoint you. Maybe you will lose a friendship. Maybe something that you're not expecting. Uh, maybe you lose a group of friends because there's three, three little three cups lying down, but there's still two cups lying up. So let's say that there's a group of friends, and you I don't know maybe five six, and you belong to this group of friends, and for whatever reason, that group of friends is divided in what concerns you. So some of you don't want to be friends with you anymore, but others stick by you. You know you don't lose them. Totally. You know, for instance, this is just an example. This card, clarification, to me, feels like an angel. Again, in this, in the soul cards, there's a few cards that to me feels like, I, I, I looked at them and it feels like guardian angels. Okay. To me, it feels like a guardian angel and he's putting the, the hands on top of the eyes of two people. These two people are facing each other, but they're not looking at each other, but they're not seeing each other because the guardian angel is, has the, the, the hands, his hands, uh, on top of their eyes. So, how can I read this? It feels like maybe for a, for a while you were friends with someone or you were friends with a group of people. And again, your guardian angels allowed you to be friends with this person or this group of people. Because maybe it was okay for, for a bit, for a while. Uh, but it will come a time, maybe starting in December 2022, where you have to open your eyes. Maybe to just a part of your life or maybe to more parts of your life. And at that time, the angel will... Take away his hands. I want to say his could be her. I don't. I, okay, I'm sorry. In Portuguese, angel is masculine. O anjo. So it's a masculine name. So this is why I say he. He kind of looks like a he, but it, you know, it could be he, she. It doesn't matter. <laughs> or neither them they. I don't. I don't know. I don't care. So this angel takes away the hands from this guy's. These two guys' eyes, these two people's eyes, and finally they face each other and they see they see each other, they see each other, and what they see they don't like. <laughs> I'm sorry. You see a friend and the friend doesn't like you. A friend sees you and that friend doesn't like what he sees. It's like for the first time there's clarity in terms of friendships. And because of that clarity, you either group lose a friend, a group of friends, not all of them, a few. Or friend just decides to just, hey, I don't like the way you are. I don't like how you truly are. And it's like the angel just took away the veil that hid your true personality, both of you. And if, if this is another person and the true personality, the true character, the true essence of the other friend, it, it took away that veil from you and him or her. And that person just walked away. I'm sorry. Or, I'm, I'm laughing, but it's not funny, I'm sorry. Don't don't be mad, I'm sorry. This is like the way that I behave, I'm sorry. It's like a natural way, <laughs> don't... I'm not making fun of you, okay? Um, or you just saw them and, and you had to walk away. I don't know, but it's like big disappointment, okay? Because you see the true, true essence of someone. Someone sees your true essence. You don't, don't like each other anymore. Again, it's if it's a group, it's not all of them, it's a few. Um, could be the majority, but that, that doesn't matter because you, you the ones who say are, are very good people. And this is not something that I would say is started by you. It started by, it's a divine process. It, it was time for you to see who this person is or for this person to see who you are, you know. Uh, I got a very piece of advice, a very good piece of advice from a boss once. 
Uh, I worked as a cleaning lady in a hotel in 2011 and 2012. And the first thing that she told me, which I never heard before, and this was like the very first time that I heard it out loud, and it makes absolutely absolute and perfect sense, but I never thought of it, honestly, in that way. And I never said it out loud, but it made so much sense that the minute she said it, she said, not everyone has to like you. Not everyone has to like you. And it was like, like to me, it was like a tiny little epiphany. It's true. She is correct. She is right. Not everyone has to like me. It's the same thing. Not everyone has to like you. Okay, option one. Not everyone has to like you. Okay? Now let's move on. Now we're going to go to love. So, you have, okay, the seven of wands with this uh, clarification card. Okay. The seven of wands is a defensive type of energy. Okay? It could be you, it could be the other person. So if it's you, you're defending yourself. You're defending, you're not letting the other person come clear. Not, not come clear, I'm sorry. Come closer. But it feels to me, this is a, a defensive energy, yes. But it feels like you feel the need to defend yourself. You're defending your values, your morals, that which is important to you. It's like, it's a hill... Metaphor metaphorically speaking, it's like the hill I will die on. It's that type of feeling that you have in December 2022. Now, this could be concerning uh, the, the thing that we're living right now. I don't even know what it is because I'm doing this reading in, in late May 2022. So it's, it's like five to six months before you actually get to see this video if there's still such a thing as youtube you know hopefully there is um so uh this thing that i cannot speak of because it's like speaking of voldemort you cannot say its name <laughs> otherwise the youtube gods will come and be like no 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 monetizing no monetizing for your channel no monetizing this is why I need you to like and share and subscribe. Also, you can, you know, by the way, sorry, sorry. Uh, you can go to Amazon, Amazon.com and search my name, Agatha Ramshimonj. I'll Actually, I'll leave it in the, the, the details box. You can buy one of my books. There's one. You can buy Werewolf Angel, if you like. Uh, and there's like a few others, other books in, um, in English. So anyway, continuing, that, that'd be a great way of supporting me. Uh, also can give it as a um, present to someone and it's a funny book okay it's about a, an angel <laughs> an angel I'm talking about angels a lot they get turned into a werewolf and then he has to break the curse anyway continuing you feel that in terms of love you are defending yourself your values it could be concerning that that thing that it's happening right now in May now there's a new thing there's the old thing from 2020 and now in May there's a new thing you understand? Okay. On top of other new things that's... Oh my God. I have no idea how's in December 2022. How's December 2022? Is there more new things? Oh my God. Anyway, you're defending yourself. <sighs> Maybe your spouse or your... Um, your significant other is trying to impose something on you. you know? This could be connected with only both of you or this could be connected with the society of lar at large and like he or she is trying to impose something on you and like no or you're the one who's doing that and the other person is like no now it's a very defensive sort of energy either you feel like you're being attacked by lots of people including your significant other if you do have a significant other or the other person is the one who feels who's being that that he or she is being attacked this card to me to me it kind of is, has like a negative vibe i'm sorry i apologize it feels like you go round and round and round and round in a very vicious circle in a very <sighs> this feels like a toxic relationship i'm sorry 
and either you you have the, the, this type of toxic relationship forever this is the type of relationships of love relationships that you have you keep dating the same type of person okay or this uh, this is a relationship that for maybe the first time you have a toxic that it's toxic you this other person this is not good okay it's not good because it feels karmic it feels negative it feels like you have to defend yourself all the time the other person is always attacking you or you or you you both together you just turn into this very de negative dark energy i'm sorry to say this okay now another way of reading it let's say you're single you absolutely do not want to have a boyfriend a girlfriend a husband a wife you don't you don't want it you're not interested you're like girl bye no no boy bye. i don't you do not want it because you're afraid of it maybe you had bad relationships before and maybe you fear karmic some sort of karmic relationship and you're like nope not interested nope 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 there could even be someone trying to to have a relationship with you but you understand that this person is not good for you and you're trying to like be defensive trying to ward this person away and probably that's the, the best thing to do because this person i'm going to read it as the clarification card no 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 don't probably if your intuition tells you to keep away from this person it's like a, a stalker type of vibe like a person really wants to have a relationship with you and if you feel like i don't wanna i don't want to that's probably the best way to to behave okay uh now i'm gonna go to uh the area number six connected with goals what are your goals for december 2020 oh my god you have the eight of cups which is interesting with this card this clarification card it feels like to me your goal is like again for some of you it could be that you are retiring either you have the money to retire or you've reached that age where you have to retire that or you're making your goal to just leave like in a few more months you're preparing yourself to leave to to go into retirement to go into a little house that you have like a little farm that you have that belong to your mother or grandmother or great grandmother or great grandfather i don't know i would say um motherly motherly line <laughs> understand and you go there and you just you know live the life that maybe parents or grandparents or great grandparents lived and my cat is here oh wow linda to the fish from it's my cat you don't see it but she's like there she was mad at a little bit ago not not with me she was mad at something else anyway so this is your goal you just you kind of want to go and live in the nature i don't know something like that i want to retire or you just want to leave you know you just want to start a new life you know maybe leave everything behind and just go with the basics basically that's i would read it like that this is what you like maybe maybe you start preparing for that in december 2022 now finally advice advice for you you have okay the tower i'm sorry with this card the clarification card okay to me it feels like a soulmate card this is one of the cards that i see as soulmate but paired with the tower it's not a good soulmate the advice i would say is whatever things need to end let them end whatever things need to uh, just finish could be relationship could be even work could be family ties friendship ties there's something in your life that it's going to end and if you keep at it if you keep be there if you keep like tied tied like this to this person's situation event situation uh, structure whatever you're gonna fall with him or her and i say this you're gonna be tied up with him or her you're gonna fall equally if you are tied up metaphor metaphorically speaking or if you refuse to leave this person or whatever happens to this person is going to happen to you because i see this as a clarification card they are holding hands don't be like this this is the advice don't okay i can read this in different ways but i i see two people falling from the tower and then i see two people with uh they're like almost glued to each other and they have the the hands connected i don't
don't know what it is, but if one person falls, if you don't let them go, if you don't let the situation go, you will fall with it. Okay, I don't know if we can read this in a positive light. I don't know if I can say that, uh, stick by your man or woman, I don't know if, if that's the, a good thing to do. It feels like something might be about to end in a very not nice way, just let it end, okay? Let it end and don't be dragged down by him or her or, or, or if it's work by the boss or by the company, don't don't let it. Now, this another way of reading this is there could be some sort of intuition connected with the the person that, that is truly meant for you that you have no idea that exists because maybe you haven't met them yet but you're like connected kind of psychically. There could be an intuition, like a, a flash. Uh, be aware of that. Be aware of that flash. That there could be someone else that you haven't met yet. And this is the person for you. Okay? So that's it. This is the reading that I have for you for, for December 2022. I really do hope you have a great month. Again, subscribe, like, and share. God will love you so much. God will love you more. If you go to Amazon.com right now and buy Werewolf Angel, my book, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that will happen, okay? You'll win the lottery if you do it, <laughs> okay? Bye-bye. Now, hello, hello, hello. My name is Agatha. My email is duniazala.com and this is the reading for you for the month of December 2022. For those who picked option number two, I'm going to use the mystical tarot. It's going to be a reading with um, where I'll look at seven areas of your life. Uh, the soul, I'm going to use one card of the mystical tarot and another card of soul cards as a clarification card. And meanwhile, I would ask you to please subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe to my channel, Dunya Azad. If you do, God will love you so much. Really. God will love you more than anyone else on earth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, you'll be luckier, you'll be more attractive, babies will smile at you, I swear, and 10 million euros or dollars or pounds or whatever will show up at your doorstep. I swear, I swear. And you'll have a Bugatti and a Rolls Royce too, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. Now, the first area uh, of your life that I'm looking at, it's the, the work area. And you have uh, the Justice card, the Major Arcana card, with this clarification card. It could be that there could be a new contract for you. So maybe a new job for some of you. And But the, 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 the legal documents that you're going to have to sign, is going to be a lot of them. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you have to sign a lot of documents. If it's not that, you're going to have a work where you have to untangle, untangle, unt untangle, Lots of things, lots of paper. You'll have to do a lot of paperwork and it'll be like, more like a puzzle and you have to untangle it. It could be administrative work or it could be um, work connected with law, connected with justice, connected with the courts. Uh, or you're just looking at your contract. You sign something, you know. And maybe you're looking at the way out in uh, December 2022 and you're looking at looking at it, okay, because you have to look at, I don't know, uh, you have to read uh, very carefully that which you signed like a while back. It feels like a new contract or a new job where you have to deal with a lot of people. And this, this it's kind of like a job that makes you feel old. I don't know if this makes any type of sense. Uh, anyway, continuing, I'm going to go to the, before I'm going to go to the the other section, the other area, which is the area connected to life. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to, you know, can visit my um, Amazon store. <laughs> you have in the details, there's like a book there in English. I don't know if you've written more because I'm doing this in May 2022. So this is going to be for December. I have no idea if I've written more books, but there's one which is called Werewolf Angel. It's a funny book about an angel that gets turned into a werewolf. If you it's funny, you can read it, you can, you know, can buy it, you can uh, give it as a gift to, to a family member, to a friend, to a colleague, I swear, it's gonna 
it's gonna be great okay it's a way for you to support me anyway let's continue so family you have okay you have the seven of swords with this card which always felt to me a very happy card now several ways of reading this this is how maybe you come uh, you uh show up to your family in December 2022. It's like you're hiding something from your family. You're not telling them. And this is something that makes you really, 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 really happy. Look at all this green. So it might be connected with green, with money, but there's something that makes you so joyous that you're not telling your family. Now, why are you not telling your family? Maybe it's connected with all the paperwork, paperwork connected with your work area. This could even be like going uh, before, you can take your work or your company to to uh, to court or there's like a court there's a court situation connected with your work maybe it happened a long time ago maybe it happens now or maybe there's a settlement connected with your work and you're gonna get a lot of money i don't know and this it, this means that you have to sign a lot of papers and this could also mean that you have to sign an nda you understand what an NDA is? So let's say you're going to get a lot of money, but you cannot tell anyone. If you tell anyone, you're going to lose that money. And this is the reason why you cannot tell your family. You know, for some of you, it might be this, okay? For others, is nothing to do with your a court decision, with your work, nothing like that. No NDA. It's just something that you're hiding from your family. What it is. I don't know. Maybe you got a new work or maybe the job that you have, you're going to love it. Maybe. But you cannot tell your family what you do, you know, it's kind of secret type of thing. But it makes you kind of happy. I said sad, no, but maybe you're happy that you got this, this job. Maybe you're hiding something else. Maybe you came into a lot of money, you're hiding that. Now, this could be a family member that's doing this, a family member who's deceptive who's cheating, who stole something, who lied, I don't know. And this person seems to be very happy, like a happy-go-lucky sort of person. Now, this person could could do this to you in December 2022, just lie and deceive and cheat and uh, steal, I don't know. And I'm going to say it's a woman, not necessarily, but it could be a woman. It's like she feels happier when she's doing things that will an annoy you or upset you this could be a sister you know uh or if it's not you it's to to your family to this could be a family member this could be a narcissist you know a narcissist it could be a narcissist mother even and they're planning something they're doing something to piss you <laughs> to annoy you to pee you off and that will make you very happy, make this person very happy. Again, it could be sister, mother. I don't know. There's, I don't know. I don't know who this is, okay? It's like the family holidays where people get together and, and, and she's preparing. He, it's a woman, I'm sorry. Something and something which is not nice. And she's happy because of that. I'm sorry to tell you that. Now I'm going to go to um, the area number four, which is connected with friends and support for December 2022. You have, I'm sorry, no, with luck and wishes. I'm sorry, it's luck and wishes. So it's, it's area number three, not four. Area number three, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is the clarification card. Okay. So I'm going to read this in different ways. One, you have good luck, you have money, okay, or you have a new job that will give you money, okay, but you're not very happy. You're looking at this woman, she's like crying. I don't know. I don't know what this is. If you do have a job, if you have a new contract in your workplace, I don't know, if you have something, if there's money coming in, you're not exactly happy about it, okay? You have to hide it from everyone. You cannot tell about it. Uh, or... This good fortune that comes to you, this luck, is the, the, the job that you always wanted. But this job that you always wanted is connected with people who are in pain and who are suffering. Again, I, I'm going to go back to that idea of whatever you do, you have to keep it a secret. 
it could be law enforcement, you know, it could be connected with the judicial system, with law, connected with victims. I don't know exactly what it is. It could be a lawyer who defends victims. I don't know what it is. Um, so there's money. There's the the work you always wanted to do, but it's in a in a bad situation where it's connected with victims, with people who are suffering. But it's like the job you always wanted to have. Now it could be nothing like that. You do have luck. You do uh, have a few uh, wish that comes through, but it's not sufficient. Okay, it's it's not sufficient, and it's it's not enough. It's not exactly. Enough. It's a little bit, but it's not completely how you want it. Now, another way of reading this and going back, connecting it with your, I don't know, someone in your family who might be a narcissist, a mother, a family member, sister. I'm thinking it's a woman, but not necessarily. Not necessarily. The moment they know that you have money, that you got something, that you have good luck, something you've accomplished, they're so, they are so sad. They are so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. I don't know. I'm, I, there's so many people that I read to, so I have no idea which one are you. So I have to give all possible meanings. So there's, there's this one person who's a woman who's really not happy that good things are coming your way and that you got your luck, you got your wish come, to come true. Now I'm going to go to uh, area number four, which is friendships and uh, support. And you have the four of swords. And this is the uh, clarification card. To me, this clarification card always seems to show a woman and there's blood. This is a sick woman. There's a sickness of the blood. Do you understand what I'm saying? Could even be a miscarriage of some type. But she's not okay too, because this is red. I, I never see this card as a nice card. Uh, I always see it as a, a woman who's ill. Now, this isn't the part of connected with friendships. No, there could be a friend. I'm sorry to say this. You might lose a friend. You might actually lose a friend to illness. Okay? There could actually be that. I'm sorry to say that. But this is not... There's many different ways of reading it. I'm going to give you more ways of reading, of interpreting this card. So, there could actually be a loss of a friend due to illness, due to, to, due to something connected with the blood, the sickness of the blood. She, isn't, she was not feeling, feeling very well. I don't think this is you in the way a friend sees you. I think this... I don't know how to, how to spend this, honestly. I don't know how to say this in a more positive way. It's... Or this is just a friend who's... She's not lost, but she's ill. Again, it could be a, a him, but I see this as a woman. A woman who's ill, who's your friend. And people cannot give you support because they're ill. Or there's like a friend that you used to have support from, and emotional support, that they can't because they are ill. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to go to love. That's uh, area number five. And you have... The three of wands, and then you have this clarification card. Okay, this clarification, even though it seems nice with these pastel colors, if you look at it, it's a, a person. Uh, you can focus, you cannot focus. And you can see it really well, but they are cu uh, cuddling. Cuddling? Not cuddling. It seems to be like a head of like a skull. It always feels like it, it, it seems nice, but it's not. It's like someone looking at the skull or choking another person that they have trapped. Now, in terms of love, maybe you have possibilities. You maybe have this possibility and that possibility and you have that possibility. Maybe your options in terms of love are opening up. Maybe you like to use Tinder. Hey, whatever. Do, do what you like. Um... But you have to be careful with one particular person that really seems nice and not threatening. But this person could be threatening. You have to be careful with that. Now, another way of reading this is <clears throat> you have someone. Boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife. And this person, their options in terms of business, not in terms of other people, in terms of business are opening up and they're very, very happy. 
they're happy and a bit obsessed with whatever that they're doing. They're obsessed with their business, okay? With the thing that keeps being, bringing them success and money, okay? Now I'm going to go to area number six, which is goals for December 2022. And you have the Queen of Swords with this clarification card. Okay, you're looking into the future. You're making plans. You're making detailed plans, rational plans, very intelligent plans, very detailed plans to accomplish something and conquer something into the future. Whatever, what, I'm sorry, whatever it is, it feels like a birth in your life because I see a woman giving birth. I don't know. Uh, some of you might... I'm going to go again back to law. If you work with victims, if you worked in law, I don't know, you could even work... I'm not going to say as a politician, but you access, accessorize politicians, or ex accessorize... I'm not sure how do you say this. Uh, you help them. I don't know how to say In Portuguese you say assessor. I don't know how to say this. Uh, I don't know, you handle everything to them. It's not a secretary, but it's, yeah, it could be a secretary, but like someone who earns a lot of money, but connected with, you make, you put into writing some sort of law that defends women with children, pregnant women, something like that. Those who are victims, you defend them. Are you trying to make a plan to defend them in the future, if this makes any type of sense? If it's not that, you're trying to birth something in the future, and uh, that's one of your goals, and you're putting in, in you, uh, laying out your plan, which is very detailed, okay? Now, finally, for um, advice, you have, I'm sorry, the devil with this card. With this card. So... <clears throat> this clarification card. So the advice is not to be so obsessive. <clears throat> I'm sorry. In whatever area of your life. Don't be obsessive and controlling. Now, it could be obsessive and controlling connected with family. Because I see here uh, roots of a tree that has been uh, cut down. Now, some of you could be adopted. Some of you could come from a weird type of family dy dynamics. I talked about narcissistic sister or mother. Don't obsess over it. Don't obsess about the past, the roots, where it comes from, what's the reason of it, because that's that's not good for you. If you are, for instance, I don't know, adopted, don't obsess about your birth family because you can come across something that you will not like. There's an, an obsessive thing. Don't obsess over it, okay? Um, especially connected with family dynamics, family tree. If there's a family member who's obsessive, get away from them, okay? Uh, because all of this is just not nice, not good for you, okay? This is the advice for you for December 2022. Now, that's it. This is the reading that I have for December 2022. I do really do, I really do hope everything turns out fine, okay? Come back and tell me. And again, if you'd like to buy a book, just great, wonderful book written by me, I get the same one. You can go to Amazon.com. You have in the details... Werewolf Angel, it's in English, English, and it's great, and it's to laugh, and yeah, that's it, you could, you support me that way, <laughs> and I will be very thankful, thankful, uh, anyway, thank you, and bye-bye.